Hey everyone, it's Julie and welcome to day three of Core Connection. You do not need any equipment today, just a little bit of space. We have a couple exercises we're gonna go through. We're mostly gonna work for reps, but our very last exercise will work for time. Are you ready to do this? Okay, come on down. All right, so we are gonna start with our legs up towards the sky and we are going to do a scissor leg crunch. So what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna lower one leg, come back up, the other leg, come back up, and then reach for the toes. We have 20 reps. So are you ready to do this? Make sure the core is engaged, back is pressed against the floor, belly button is pulled towards the spine, and we're zipping up that core. Oh, here we go. and rest. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take your hands and place them underneath your glutes. We are going to do leg lowers. I like to place my hands under my glutes to help keep my back pressed against the floor. You're going to lower your legs as low as you can while maintaining contact between your back and the floor and then come back up. To make this a little easier, you can bend your legs and if you find that as you lower your back starts to arch, then don't go any lower. So if you get to here and you're like, oh, my back wants to pull, then that's as far as you go. Okay, we really need to keep that, that back against the floor, core engaged. So we're gonna do 20 reps of leg lowers. Here we go. You have one more. And rest. That's probably one of the more challenging ones, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is a single leg lower with an oblique crunch. So what you're gonna do is you're going to lower one leg and as it comes up, you're gonna touch. Now, you can keep the other leg on the floor. You can float it, whatever feels more comfortable for you but we want to bring that foot up. We're going to cross and touch it, lower it back down. We're going to do 20 per leg. So if it feels better to keep both of them up, you can do that. If it feels better to keep one on the floor, no problem. If you want to make it harder, you can float the bottom leg. You can do a combination of all of them if you want. If you want to do a few one way and then switch, that's cool too. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Here's 10, I'm gonna float my leg up.
and 20. Woo! Floating the leg. Definitely feel it. Let's do the other side. Here we go. That's 10, so I'm gonna float my leg. And 20. Now it's your core. Okay, we just have one exercise left. We are going to do a dead bug variation, and this is where we're gonna go for time. So we'll have a minute. Okay, so we start with legs and tabletop. We're gonna have our arms up. You'll do two dead bugs. So dead bug, switch. Then you're gonna drop both feet, come back. So two dead bugs, heel tap, dead bugs, heel tap. We're gonna just go for one minute, as many reps as we get in that minute. Here we go. I just want to move my arms even when I put both legs down. But you can do that if you want. If you want to lower the arms over your head, you can do that. If you want to keep them in place, that's cool too. We are almost there. And rest. Hug those knees into your chest. That's it. Those are our exercises for today. And roll on up. So definitely, some of those a little bit more challenging. And what I have done over the last couple of months is I pick some exercises where I'm just using a very basic movement to really work on the deep core connection, which for me has been the dead bug. And then I try to throw in one exercise that is really challenging that I have to really struggle through. So today, like the single leg lower and floating the bottom leg, that's really challenging. And so to me, to add in a mix of basic ones that you can really concentrate on that deep core connection is good with a mix of ones that really challenge you, your core is on fire, and you're really happy to work for it. Leg lowers is another one. I love that one. I have become much stronger in them, so they're not quite as challenging anymore. And you'll see as we progress, like I'm gonna add ankle weights to that, I'm gonna add um, a dumbbell to that to start progressing those. So as you get stronger in your core, it's great to start adding weights or resistance bands or things that can then make them more challenging because the more you do them, the stronger you get and you'll be a little less challenged. So I'm gonna show you through this process how we're gonna make those more challenging as you get stronger. So thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.